Good day and welcome back to another Terraria Japanese style let's build. So this is the first video that I've done for Terraria at least in quite some time. The last video I did I said it'll be my last video for a long time and I'm back sooner than I expected thanks to my lovely Patreons. So basically I'm not going to get into it there's podcasts there's other videos on my channel you can watch if you want to have the full news about it but in terms of uh, trying to save time and not spend ages talking about stuff you don't care about. Uh, if you want more videos, then you're going to have to subscribe to my Patreon at this point uh, in my life. Uh, if you want more information, you can go watch any one of my other videos where I've explained it. But basically, for each Patreon I have, that's going to be one more video that I do a month. So, today's video is sponsored by one of my Patreons. So, thank you very much to those of you who do decide to subscribe to my Patreon. It means the world to me, and it means I make more videos, which I do enjoy. So today we are going to be making another Japanese styled house. So it's not going to be uh, like a specific like this, you know, like you can have a sauna, you can have uh, this type of building, that type of building. It's just a house. It's just a Japanese style house. Yet another one because those seem to do well and you guys like them. So I'm going to keep on making them. As always, if we have a look at the items we're going to need, the staple is of course Dynasty Wood, White Dynasty Walls, Blue Dynasty Shingles, some wooden fence, some wooden walls, and some wooden beams. And then for your decorations, you can go with dynasty lanterns, dynasty tables, dynasty chairs. The rest isn't essential, but I like to go with the bookcase, the large dynasty candle, uh, the normal dynasty candle, and then I use dynasty wood platforms as the platforms. Of course, you don't have to use these materials. You can use whatever you want to use, but that's what I'm going to be using for this video. So to begin with, you're going to want to place down your center block because most of the time these things are odd number because I prefer to build with odd than even. It makes the symmetry easier. So bam, look at that. That's our first block. So the base layer is going to be 45 blocks wide. So from your middle one, you want to have 22 blocks on each side because 22 times two is 44 plus one, 45. So let's do that. Now, if you are an idiot like me, <laughs> I forgot to put an extra block going up to indicate the middle, so now I'm going to have to actually count and find out where the middle was. Alright, there you go. I've got my middle block, which is very essential. You need that to, at least in the beginning, so that you can know that you're not going to have your whole building off by one block, which would really suck if you come to the end and you realize that you've built it wrong and have to start all over again. Right now, to begin with, the center room here is going to be seven blocks wide. So, that means three on either side of this. So, one, two, three then this block over here is going to be our wall. Because three inside the side, three there, it's going to be seven, right? So do that quickly. Then you want to stand next to it and just dig out enough so that you can walk through it, because that's going to be our doorway, basically. And then we're going to do a row, brick, uh, a row of blocks out going out this way, and a row going out that way. Don't worry about the exact amount. I shall tell you in a moment exactly how much it's going to be. And then on top of this, over here, you're going to go in by one and then out like that on both sides. And then in the middle here, we're going to have our platform. So that is five blocks wide. So we've got seven in here. This is five. Then the easy way to count this out is that the gap in between each set of blocks is going to be five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to have that. So we can cut that out. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have two sets like this basically where it's going to be five five and then three on the end so one two three four five and then you go down so that your gap is five then one two three then you go down so that your gap is three and then you go up another three one two three on that side and one like that and then we're going to do that on both sides And there is the base floor, basically, the outline of it. Now let's do the interior. So we can now get rid of this. We don't need it anymore because this is now even. So we're good to go from there. So what you want to do is you want to get some wooden beams and then one block in from there. You're going to place them going down like that. Oh, and like that. Then you're going to get your dynasty wood again. And we're just going to put a block over there and a block over there. What I'll do is I'll show you how to do it on this side and then I'll do that side off camera. So that way the video doesn't end up being too long. So again, we're going to get our wooden beams, bring it down in line of this one, and then one in from there, just like we did on that side. Then over here, we're going to have some doors. Uh, I may have forgotten to actually get some doors, so 
keep that in mind you do obviously need doors i go with the dungeon doors just because i feel like they fit in quite nicely so i'm going to put a door over there and a door over there then what you want to do is get your wooden wall so this one the wall is going to be mostly wooden wall more than it is the dynasty one i'm just going to take it all the way across like that and then you're going to do it again at the bottom like that and then in the middle here we just want to put one block well blocks going up like that connecting it then you want to get your white dynasty wall and just on the bottom layer go across like that so there's actually technically two blocks here and then so on the bottom one we're going to have that there on the top one we're going to have some wooden fences you want to have two wooden fences on each side like that and then the center can be like that and meet that up with dynasty wall so there you go so essentially it's one layer of wood one layer of dynasty wood at the top and then three wood in the middle two fences on either side and that's going to be the wall for that part over there then the center bit we basically take our wooden wall and we keep going across like that all the way like that and all the way like that and then fill the center gap which is two blocks high with white dynasty walls so on the top half and the bottom like that and go all the way into that room on the side and then over here we do it again one two like that but this over there you don't want it to go over the door there you go. You want it to match up perfectly like that. And then you're going to take your wooden wall and just bring that out like so. About one block like that. Then you're going to get your wooden fence. One, two, three like that. And one over there. And then for lighting, you just get some dynasty lanterns. One over there. And then you'll do the same on the other side. And then for decoration, we can put down a lovely little dynasty table there. Dynasty candle in the middle. And then get two chairs one over there and one of there. this is now a room that an npc can live in so the nice thing about a lot of these buildings is that they look great and your npc npcs can live in them as well right so i've done the first half and then i will do the second half and continue All right, and then just to finish this up here, we pull this all the way up to that point over there with more wooden walls. Okie dokie, now that we have that done, it's time to start the first sort of roof that also doubles as a room. So this is going to be five lines of blocks that are four long each. Now that might not make sense, so let me just show you. So we start one block in from over there, so it's in line with that, and we go four long. So one, two, three, four, and we do that five times. And then we don't start on the end of there, we start in the middle, the second half of there. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you do that five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And we do that on both sides. Well, actually, let me do the, th the sets of three next. So after the five sets of four, we have four sets of three. So one, two, three blocks long. And we do that four times. Two, three, four. There you go, and now we do that on both sides. From there, we go up by three blocks. Those total things will be four high. So we've got one, two, three, four. We do that on both sides. Two, three, four. And then you go straight across like that. One there, one there, one there, one there. One, two, three, like that. So five sets of four four sets of three that's four and then we have three inside over there and that's total length is going to be four this little bit that sticks up over there is two now before we do the exterior let's do the interior for this room so this room is going to be almost entirely wooden walls so let me get started with that now right underneath these two ones over there we're just going to go across like that with some fences and then match the wooden wall underneath and on top like that just to give some natural light that comes in now on the fourth pillar over here so one two three four we get our wooden beam and right next to that block over there so from over there we just go straight down so one two three four down you go for some you know structural support now you can use either normal torches or you could go with lanterns in here i'm just gonna use torches because they hang off the walls quite nicely and it gives off enough light in here that you don't have to worry about monsters spawning. 
Now inside here you can edit, you can put in pretty much whatever you want. I'm going to go with some dynasty bookcases. So in fact, I'm going to get rid of that torch and that one. Look at this, look at me editing on the go. There you go, get rid of that. Right, so we're going to get our dynasty bookcase. We're going to put that in there very nicely. Just like that. And then we'll get the torches and put them above them. Or, none of this will work. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. So you get your dynasty candle and you can have it sit on top of the bookcase. Then in the center, if you want, we can put a table with some chairs. Unfortunately, because this doesn't have a door, it won't count as an NPC room. And then at the top, we want to get one of our dynasty lanterns and hang that from the top of there. There you go. That's the interior done. You can also put like item frames or trophies or whatever you want over there because there is quite a bit of open space for you to put some other stuff. Now, the easy way to get your roof right without messing it up, because I often even mess it up myself, is that next to here, we're going to have basically two locks on each one like that. So start off by just doing that, by going two out on each side. And then match them all up. And then two out like that, two out like that, and then we're going to go three. So down like that, all the way down until we've got a nice angle over there. Now on our third set of three, we're going to do the wall for the next roof. So the sets of three are here. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, you're going to have a wall like that. This is 11 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it basically lines up with just inside over there. From there, you can put a block on top of that. So they don't actually, you know, it's not going to be over there where they meet up. It's going to be on the roof. So the inside, so from here, we can do our wall going up. We have one, two, three, four, and then we'll have the ceiling. Go all the way across like that. And just come down like that over there. Put down your two blocks over there like that, as I mentioned early on, and then Take that all the way across over there. Then this also comes up our two, and then you have one going around like that, and you'll repeat it on the other side. But before we repeat on the other side, let's finish this interior wall, uh, room over here. Now this room will have a door, so it will count as an NPC room. So we put in a door over there. And then again, we'll take our wooden wall all the way along the top, all the way along the bottom. Now, before I do the interior over there, just to make it a bit easier to follow along, we're gonna do the sort of gap thing that we have over there. So these are four blocks on so one two three four and we have done so the gap is four so again one two three four we have a block going down and then one two three and you can hang another candle off of there or lantern rather now that we have that set up it's easier to follow along what i'm going to do with wooden fences we're going to have four with the second one being in place of this so that's going to be one two three Cool. Now that's halfway through the room, but it's easier to follow when you actually have that line over there. Then the rest of it is going to be white dynasty walls. Oops, I knocked out one of my fences, so I'm just going to, have to put that back in. There you go. So four blocks wide. And then we can get our table. Unfortunately, because this is an even room, the table won't sit directly in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll just put it over there and get a single chair like that. And get our candle and put that in the center over there. Now, let's finish the roof on this side. Basically, the easy way to do this is just full along all the way to that line over there. This is why I did the room and didn't finish the roof, because this is basically the easiest way to do it without, like, sitting here trying to count out everything. So we're just going to fill it all the way up until we get to there. From there, they basically go down by one block. So there's one block, one block. So like a staircase almost. Whoops. Took out the dynasty wood over there to put that back. And we do that all the way until we have one block left like that and then we go boom like that and there you go hammer it out as i always do you know i promise you in all of my japanese builds now what i also do like to do is make this flat i just prefer the look of it you don't have to do that if you like the look of it sticking out i basically make it all flat up until the top one i don't hammer the top one because the wood sits quite nicely on it right then we take this all the way across to there and on top of here we're gonna have more dynasty shingles but in order for me to do that i need to complete the other side so let me get around to doing that
Right, now to do another layer of Dynasty Shingles, that's going to be three blocks tall. So we have already one, two, three. And we're just going to take that all the way across to the edge, basically. Right, and then on over here, so on the bottom layer, we're going to go out by two. So one, two, out from over there. And then we're going to do our normal roof. Like that. Then what you want to have is all the way up to that block over there, you want to fill it up so this is going to be too high. And let's just take that out because you want it to be too high up until this block over here. Then you want it to be three high up until this block over here. And that's going to go up to over there until you get to that block over there. From that block over there, you can put down some dynasty wall all the way to there. And then do the same thing on this side. So up by two, up by one, hammer it, and then two high until that block. And then on that block, it's going to be three high, and then on this block, it's going to be like that. There you go. Now, we basically just finish off. This is the top room, so go up as far as you can, oh, no, as far as you can reach. There you go, like that. Enough said, there's a door, so there's a door, and then one gap over there, so it's going to be four tall. And we go all the way across. Like that. Now we will be hammering that out, but it's just easier to do it like this to start off with. Put down our doors while we're here. One door over there. And one door over there. Now this here needs to be five blocks wide. So what well, we could have done. Okay, so let's just do it on top. So one, two, three, four, five, right? On that fifth block over there, we're gonna keep that and destroy the rest. And then do it on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. Keep number five. And break away the others. Now we can then break away the ones in the middle. We don't need them anymore. Now we're going to have two steps of two. So there's one step of two, two steps of two. And then up by three. So one, two, three, like that. And then you do it two more times. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then down like that, because that's the center. And so we have our two sets. So there's one two up by three like that then you can do your your dynasty roof start here take it out as far as over there so five blocks and then up like that and you can hammer those like that then you'll leave a gap of one and put another like that and go all the way across and then a gap of two so one two blocks the easier to do is that it's going to be in line with that one over there all the way across then from here you want another gap of two all the way across that one will line up with that block over there and the rest will all be single blocks, so it's much easier to count. And that's up until you get to this block over here on top of there. From here, we go one, two, one, two, across like that. And then one, two, three, and one. And we'll leave that for now while we do this side over here. Right, now we want to hammer most of these, so we're going to hammer that one, like that. And that one, like that. And then all these ones over here. Up until that one, we keep the top one, because the top spark looks nice. Remember, you have to hammer them twice, so one, two, to get that nice smooth slope. Now, again, you don't have to hammer them. I like to hammer it, but you don't have to. Right, now, we are almost done, so now you want to get your wooden beams. And you want to put them on these blocks right over here. Whoops, we don't want it over there. Get rid of that. And put them down over there, like that. And then get wooden wall. And just go along there, then all the way along that bottom row. And up by the door, all the way along the top row, like that. Get your white dynasty wall. Fill in this gap over here. We want to do the top and the bottom half. So there's the top half, here's the bottom half. Oopsie daisy. Let's just neaten that up. There you go. Right, then in line with this row of three here, we're going to put down some more fences for some more natural light. And fill everything else in with wooden walls. Don't forget to put a nice little dynasty lantern over there for some more light. We've got natural light and unnatural light. Lovely. <laughs> right, then in the center, we're going to put a dynasty table. Now I'm going to get a large dynasty candle. Put that over there. You don't have to, you can use the small if you want to, a chair, and a chair, and then finish off some dynasty lanterns over there, and over there, 
and we're done basically that is it the from there you can do whatever you want you can add trophies you can add banners you can add all sorts of other decorations but as far as the actual house itself goes this is the japanese house number i don't know i'll call it number two because i've done other styles of houses but let's just call this japanese house number two so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video uh please uh like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next, if you do enjoy seeing this, if you want me to do more Terraria builds. Also, I'm not exclusive to doing Japanese, I can do whatever style you want, so you guys let me know what you want to see, and I'll come up with something to build and make a video on it. So, if you want to see more than one video a month, then please do subscribe to my Patreon, uh, there's a link in the description, there are different tiers for basically what you'd want me to do, there's a general support tier, uh, make videos tier and a podcast tier so at the moment I have one subscriber on the podcast tier and one subscriber on the make videos tier so I'm doing one video a month one podcast a month more subscribers more videos thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye